How's it going, YouTube? Uh, I'm going to show you guys how to make... I don't even know what to call it. It's going to be a... I guess, flat, twisted, microcoil... I, I don't know, ribbon, canthal, twisted microcoil? I'm not going to show you how to wrap the coil. Because, I mean, that's pretty self-explanatory. And I'm not going to show you how to make twisted canthal. What I have here is some, like, a 30-gauge canthal. And if, let's see if I can get it to, to show you. But it is just some uh, twisted uh, 30 gauge canthal. It doesn't want to focus in on it. Mm, kinda. You can kind of see that. Anyways, I'll, I'll link you on to how to make this uh, twisted canthal and I'm just using 30 gauge here as I've said like four times already but what I haven't seen done yet is what happens if you make it flat I wanted to know so uh, let's give it a shot and what you're gonna need is something uh, you know sturdy that you can hammer on I'm gonna try and do this I'm sitting kinda far away having to look through the camera everything and I've actually already done this uh, earlier to just to test it out see if I could do it and what I learned is as you're hammering you want to keep your uh, twisted canthal straight you do not want to be twisting it as you're hammering away and all you're gonna do is go to town hammering away at it I don't know if you can see but it is flat now you know, there's just a little section here yeah, you can kinda see it yeah it flattens it out so now you're gonna have a bigger surface area than you would with just the regular twisted of course now it wants to focus in on that you can really see where that flattens up right there it's not much of a gain but it's definitely a gain so I guess I could upload a video showing how to make a ribbon canthal or twisted ribbon canthal microcoil or something but I figure, hey, you know, these microcoils are all a buzz right now. Why not do something a little more different? Let's, uh, let's do a little bit more on here. Try and flatten this out a little bit more. And as I said, you don't want to twist it as you're going. So I'm trying to keep it flat. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Pretty awful job, I must say. I'm sitting pretty far away from the from where I'm working. But if you twist, you know, then you're gonna have a weird. It's not gonna be flat all the way, like right here. It's kind of screwed up, and right there, it's not too bad. You can definitely see that's flattened out. But yeah, uh, I guess I'll be uploading another video showing how to make this into a microcoil. Alright, you guys have a good uh, day, night, evening, whatever, and I'll see you in the next video.